Evening all, tonight we have a crescent moon behind us and I've got a new telescope as discussed in the last video. So let's combine the two. As you can see, we're gonna to have to look by the street light that's at the front of the house and hopefully it's gonna be okay. Hopefully we get some decent footage, but I might have to sort of move the scope over here just to kind of get a better angle at the moon away from that light. Next step is to plug in the older modified Logitech webcam instead of the eyepiece and I've got it all lined up and then get focus and plug it in a laptop. I've got the webcam plugged into my laptop and I'm just opening up SharpCap 3.2 which is going to be the capture software for capturing the AVI files for the, for the moon. The important thing is getting the focus. Now there's Venus over there above that house, but I can't actually get my scope across this far across the garden and still reach the power source, so I'm, I'm contemplating that. Okay, I've come in from grabbing a little bit of footage of both the, the very thin crescent moon and I managed to drag my telescope over to the far corner of the garden unpowered and somehow managed to get Venus on the tiny chip of my modified webcam at 1200mm focal length. It was quite tricky to get it on there and then also try and focus at the same time but the, the thing that made it more difficult was the fact that everything felt a bit wobbly and I'm, I was just kind of wondering why that was because it's such a heavy duty mount but I, I know the answer now because I've just brought it back in and because I had to sort of make a bit of a bodge job of adding the optical tube to the mount using this foam and both the nut had come loose for both the rings so the, these these kind of straps were a bit loose and also the foam's got a lot of give in it so if I wobble that you can see that the mount stays perfectly still but the OTA kind of wobbles, the optical tube wobbles so I'm going to tighten these up as much as I can to try and take some of that wobble out and what I'll do is I'll, I'll just try and add another wing nut on the back of each of those bolts so it kind of locks it as soon as I got it as tight as I can and hopefully that will that will kind of sturdy things up a bit but this is just a temporary job I think until I figure out how to attach this 150pl a bit more securely to this uh, mead pedestal mount. Well it's it's all a learning curve isn't it this lock so I'll I'll get that fixed and hopefully a bit more secure and hopefully we have a bit more luck next time we go out but polar alignment is a bit of a problem because I can't really see the pole star from the front of the house so I'm literally just pointing the telescope reasonably north but it's not doing a great job of tracking it's kind of a bit better than having no tracking at all but the object still drifting across the the sensor either I can't get the polar alignment accurate enough because I can't see the pole star or the, the mount is just quite crude and it's just not good enough for the tracking it's just not up to the job anyway uh, that's it's all a learning curve as said and hopefully we'll have a bit more luck next time out with it